U.S. chip production is expected to skyrocket over the next decade, bolstered by incentives from the Biden administration's CHIPS Act. Here with more on this is Yahoo Finance's Dan Howley. Dan. That's right, Shauna. This is according to a report by the Semiconductor Industry Association and Boston Consulting Group. And essentially what they're saying uh, is that the CHIPS Act should be a success as far as getting the U.S. Uh, back up when it comes to building chips on shore. And so let me just go over some of the numbers here. Uh, they say that there's uh, a 203 percent projected increase in fabrication capacity uh, from 2022 to 2023. That's compared to an only 11 percent increase in the prior decade from 2012 to 2022. Now, fabrication is essentially uh, a place where they build chips. So they call them fabs because it's a fabrication facility, uh, but it's just a factory where they build chips. The, the other thing to point out is, uh, and this is very important, the U.S. is going to grow its share of of the ability to build advanced logic chips. These are uh, chips that are below 10 nanometers uh, when it comes to the, the size of the, uh, the transistor. So uh, think of uh, what you have in your iPhone, uh, your iPad, Apple just announced yesterday, uh, a new three nanometer chip, uh, they're, they're M4. We don't build those in, in the U.S. They're mostly built overseas, but this is going to boost that uh, to 28 percent of global capacity by 2032. And again, in 2022, we built zero percent of that. So that means that the U.S. is going to be increasing uh, its ability to get these kinds of high end chips out the door from within the country. And that should uh, help with supply chain bottlenecks uh, in the future. And this all comes, obviously, uh, as a result of uh, the tensions with China and then also the pandemic where uh, the supply chains were just completely disrupted uh, and there were chip shortages across the world. So the idea here then is to get more uh, chip capacity on the ground in the U.S. so that uh, we can kind of avoid those in the future. All right, Dan, thank you so much, as always, for joining us. That was our very own Dan Howley, our in-house tech expert. Appreciate it.